Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, we'll actually be doing a 20 minute booty burn workout. If you're new here, my name's Allie and I'm a fitness instructor in New York City. I have an online workout platform, alliefry.com, where I post full length workouts between 30 and 45 minutes. So if you wanna sweat with me, definitely follow along on Instagram and visit my website to become a member. On January 1st, we will be launching the FX Sweat app. I'm so excited to bring this platform to you on your mobile device and keep sweating with you throughout the new year. I'll also be offering a one-time promo and we'll be doing a boot camp come January. So to stay updated, definitely follow me on Instagram. And with all of that said, let's just get into the workout. 20 minute booty burn coming up. Let's sweat. Go ahead and sink your tailbone long, reach your fingertips forward, and then melt your shoulders down into the mat. Take a deep breath in through your nose, feel your rib cage expand, and then a big audible exhale out of your mouth. Let's take one more just like that. Deep breath in, and a full breath out. On your next inhale, shift it forward to your tabletop pose, stack your shoulders over your wrists, hips over your knees. Go ahead and inhale to a cow pose. You're gonna drop your belly low, lift your chest. Exhale, cat pose, round and curl. I want you to pull that belly button up to spine. Inhale takes you back to your cow pose. And then exhale takes you back to your cat pose. We'll take one more round on your own breath. Check in with how your body is feeling today. Prepare yourself for the next 20 minutes of work, you guys. We have a full booty burn workout. Let's take our head in one direction and then roll it in the other direction. When you are ready, press your toes into the mat, lift your knees up one inch. You're in a hovering tabletop pose. I want a long spine. Gaze is at the top of your mat. You have a micro bend in your elbows. Shift your shoulders directly over your wrist. Pull your hips over your knees and then add a tiny little pulse down. So it's down, up, down, up. Lengthen out your breath, deep inhales, deep exhales. We'll take a few more counts here, last two, and final one, big exhale, press it into your downward facing dog. Hips high, I want you to pedal out those heels, spread your fingertips wide, press your palms into the mat. Gaze under either shoulder, and then inhale, see your hands. Exhale, shift it forward to your high plank pose. We'll take a moment to set this up. So once again, shoulders directly over those wrists. You can pull your heels over your toes, lower your hips, you're in one long line, gaze is straight down. Go ahead and bend your knees, pull your hips towards your heels. On your exhale, spring it forward to that strong high plank. Inhale, pull it back, exhale, push it forward. Warming up that lower body, using your upper body for support and then squeezing your core through this entire series. Let's do two more. Last two. And one, come back to your high plank pose, deep breath in. Exhale takes you to your downward facing dog. Inhale, see your hands. Exhale, step your feet behind your wrist. Give me a ragdoll pose. So grab for opposite elbows, let your upper body hang heavy. Option to sway side to side, add a generous bend to your knees. Tuck your chin into your chest and just release with every exhale you sink one inch deeper. When you're ready, release your fingertips down to the mat. Drop your seat low and then turn your toes out so your knees spread wide. Bring your palms to heart center and press your elbows into your knees to open up your hips. Stay here for one moment. Begin to hinge your chest forward as you lift your hips for a frog squat. We're going to lower and then lift. It's an inhale and an exhale. This is a big hip opener. If this does not feel good, option to find a basic squat down and up. I just want you warming up that lower body. Let's do two more. Last one, land in that wide squat. Bring your fingertips back down and turn your toes forward from here. Lift your seat up to that halfway low squat hold and then begin to lift your chest away from your knees. Drop your booty back, weight comes into your heels. Hold here. Press your palms in together, deep breath in. 
Exhale, I want you to sink one inch lower before we press through our heels to stand everything up tall. I want one big shoulder roll towards the back of the room and then one big shoulder roll forwards. Beautiful work. Your warm up is complete. From here, we move into our booty band segment. This is six moves. You have 50 seconds on and then a 15 second rest between moves. Go ahead and grab your booty band, pull it around your heels, up over your knees onto your thighs. We'll get started in about 10 seconds. Your first move is a basic squat with an abduction. All right, five seconds. I want heels underneath your hips. You're gonna squat it low. Bring your knees one inch out, one inch in, press through your heels to stand. So it's a lower abduction and then a lift. We use this booty band as a glute activation to warm up all of those tiny muscles throughout your low body. Exhales as you stand, and then inhales as you lower. So you're coming down, one inch out, one inch in, press through your heels to stand. 20 seconds left on that clock. Inhale, lower. And then big press. All right, final 10. You're gonna land in your low squat. We have a squat walk coming up, that's in three two and one 15 second rest find the top of your mat and then face um, laterally on on your mat as you sink your hips low you're gonna find a squat walk the length of your mat 50 seconds coming on join me in this next move of your glute activation series it's six moves in total as you step your heels out, keep the tension through your band. So you're never bringing your heels all the way into touch. Weight is in your heels, pressing your booty towards that back wall. Keep your chest lifted. Add that breath back in. 25 seconds to go. Burning out those outer glutes, inner thighs. You've got 15. Sink it low, so strong. Last six. Three, two, and one. Stand it up. You're gonna come all the way down into that tabletop pose, and then slide your band away from your left knee, allowing your left leg to straighten out long behind you. Ooh, behind your right knee, keep it over your left, and then lengthen out your left leg. So left leg high, Right knee down, you're finding a basic lower, and then lift. Inhale, lower, exhale, squeeze. My booty band is wrapped around my right shin, and then staying above that left thigh. Keep your hips square down to the mat, more weight into your left palm, and then little squeeze with your glute every time you lift your heel. Gaze is straight out in front of you, fingertips wide, Nice and supported through that upper body. Keep your left leg long, point your left toes. Whew. Booty band is coming back up around both knees in six. Last three, two, and one. Lower your left knee, bring that booty band up and around those knees, and then come to sit on your right hip. Right forearm comes down into the mat. Bring your toes together, bend through your knees. Exhale, you're gonna open up your knees in that clam open. And then inhale, lower them down. Big exhale, lift and squeeze. And then inhale, knees come together. Keeping your toes together nice and controlled. And then you're squeezing through that left outer booty as you lift your knee. It's controlled on the way up and controlled on the way down. So find that resistance as you lower your knees together. Press your right forearm into the mat, lift up and away through your chest, through that right oblique. 12 seconds to go. Final eight, you're coming back to your tabletop pose. Last two. And one, this time that booty band slides underneath your left knee. We'll get the correct side this time. And then straighten out your right leg. The booty band will slip underneath your left shin and then still above that right knee. It's a basic lower and then exhale lift. 
Inhale, lower, exhale, squeeze. Find the length through your right toes, squeezing your right glute at the top, keeping your core nice and controlled, using your breath to move through this series. More weight into your right palm, square your hips down to the mat. Feel that right hamstring and glute fire. 22 seconds to go. Long, proud spine. One final move in this glute activation. Warm up for that booty, you guys. Almost through it, we keep pushing for 10. So strong. Whew. You give me four, three, two, and one. All right, bring those knees together. Booty band comes around both knees and then lie down on that left hip. Left forearm comes down into the mat. Bend through your knees, toes together. We'll find that clamshell open on the other side. It's an exhale lift and then an inhale lower. As you lift your right knee, little squeeze at the top. Little squeeze, hold, engage that outer booty. Use your inner thighs to lower with control. Lifting up, up, and away out of that side body. Big exhale lift, inhale lower, steady your breath. Let this burn out that lower body, you guys. This is a booty burn quick class. We are going to get those muscles on fire right away. Last move in this glute activation with the booty band, eight seconds to go. Fight through till the end. I'm right there with you. We have three, two, and one. Roll on to your seat and carefully remove your booty band from your legs. Keep those balls on your ankles. Those are totally optional, but they will help you feel an extra burn. You can toss your booty band aside. Our next series is five moves each leg. We'll start standing. We'll go back to back legs, a total of 10 minutes, five minutes on each leg. Left foot forward, right foot back. You're gonna find a back lunge and then a curtsy lunge, back lunge, and knee drive. So right toes back, find that curtsy, straight back behind you, and knee drive. Notice there's a micro bend through my left leg this entire series. Big exhales at the top. And then you have 25 seconds to go. Whew. Booty feeling nice and warm because of that booty band warm up. You've got 18 seconds here. Little exhale every time you pull your knee in. Squeeze that low belly, keep the micro bend through your standing leg. Eight seconds to go. Whew. Last four. Three, two, and one. Stand it up for that break. We are gonna go right back into that lunge, just pulsing out your back lunge and curtsy lunge. Keep your chest up, core engaged. Last standing move. Whew. All right, 50 seconds coming on the clock. You're just finding that back lunge pulse to your curtsy lunge pulse. So back lunge, curtsy lunge, that's left foot forward, right foot is moving. And then right away you concentrate all of your weight in that front heel. Now I know, it's starting to burn. You start to feel that tension right away. Know that this is a quick and temporary feeling. You are over halfway through this move. You are strong enough to get through it, and I am right there. Whew. We don't have a lot of time today, so we are gonna make it count while we are in it. 12 seconds to go. I'll count you down. That's four, three, two, and one. Press through your left heel, stand it tall, and then make your way into that tabletop pose. Left toes stay down on your mat, and then right toes are gonna find a kickback. Right away you press into that tabletop hover from your warm up, and then it's right toes kick back, and then inhale, bring them in. Now you may be thinking, we're working the left side, why are we kicking through our right heel? You'll notice that tension start to build through the left side of the body right away. Your left leg is supporting the weight of your entire, whew, body here we're building the burn through that left leg 
Stay with me for 22. I know it's tough, but this is how we get stronger. 15 seconds to go. I promise you can do it. Always option is to bring that knee down. Final eight. Strong through that upper body. Finish it. Last four, three, two, and one. Knees down. We're gonna bring our right forearm down to the mat, right knee. Left toes kick out to the side. And then left arm high up to the sky. You're gonna find a supported side plank. Basic lower and lift through your left toes. So inhale lower, exhale lift. Inhale lower, exhale squeeze that side booty. Reach through your left toes, open through your chest. Strong through those obliques. Left heel is feeling heavy. I know that's the point. Can you lengthen out through your left fingertips? Squeeze those obliques. And then point or flex your left toes. You've got 16 seconds here. Inhale, lower. Exhale, lift. One final move for this left side. And then we finish out those moves on the right side. And you are out of here, you guys. Last four, three, two, and one. The left palm comes down to the mat. Spin onto that booty and then palms behind you. I want left heel down, right heel lifted. You have a single leg hip thrust. Whew. Just a little disclaimer. This is my least favorite move, <laughs> but it really works to build that booty. So exhale, lift, inhale, lower. If this is too much on your wrist, I want you to go ahead and find that bridge pose. Kick your right heel off of the mat and find a single leg bridge lift. 30 seconds to go. It's exhale lift, inhale lower. Driving through that left heel, burning out that left hamstring and booty. You've got 18 seconds. Lift, lower. All right, final eight seconds right here. Big exhales as you squeeze. Finish it out. Last three, two, and one. Heel down, and then right away, we're gonna rock and roll it all the way back up to stand and keep pushing through this workout. First move is right foot forward, left foot back. It is your back lunge pulse, and then knee drive. 50 seconds coming on, left toes step back. You're gonna pulse in your back lunge, then in your curtsy lunge. Back to that straight back lunge, find your knee drive. So it's lunge, curtsy, lunge, knee drive, micro bend in that right knee, pressing through your right heel. Five moves, you guys, but it is killer. I'm already out of breath, nice and warm, building up that sweat, and definitely going to be sore tomorrow. Big exhale as you lift, 12 seconds to go. Inhale, lower. Where is that breath? Big exhale. Three, two, and one. I want you to stand it up. Take your 15 second break. We're going right back to that alternating straight back lunge pulse and curtsy pulse. Five seconds we get there, shake everything off, and then we keep moving. We know this is a burner, Whew. but that's why we do it. That's why we came here to get stronger, right? Well, this is how you do it. You feel that burn start to build, and then you push through that pain. That burn is your muscles changing. Know that you are doing something so good for your body today. Knee is directly over ankle. I have my upper body hinged forward to engage that core. 20 seconds left, you guys. Let it burn, get a little lower. Landing soft on your toes for 10 more seconds. Whew, if you fall out of it, that's okay. You just get right back into it. I have something on my mat there. All right, last three, two, and one. Press through your heel to stand and then come into your tabletop pose. We are going to be lifting our knees away and then kicking back through your left heel. Roll out those wrists, get them ready. Whew. Three, two, and one. 
right toes down, left heel finds that kick back. Inhale, lower, exhale, big push. Check in with the rest of your body. Are your hips staying low? Can you add that micro bend to your elbows? Get your biceps involved. A lot of tension here. Once again, it is temporary. You are over halfway through this move. Knowing that we did it on the other side, can you check in with that mental battle? Tell yourself you are strong enough. Last 10. Six, two, and one, knees down. Left knee down, left palm. Right arm high to the sky, right toes out beside you. And then it's a basic lower, exhale lift. Heel does not come higher than your hip. And then I'm gonna point those right toes. Firing up all of those inner thigh, outer glute muscles. At the same time, we're getting a bonus core and upper body work here. 32 seconds to go, exhale. Lift, reach for the length with your toes. You have one final move and then you are out of the work and into the stretching. Let's go for 12. Coming onto your booty in six seconds. Exhale, lift, inhale, lower. Last three, two, and one. Palm down, spin onto that booty. Then it's right heel down, left heel lifted, arms behind you. Your option here is to lay it down and give me that bridge lift, pulsing through your right heel. If you're with me, palms back. 50 seconds just came on. Exhale, lift, inhale, lower. Big breath. Inhale, lower, exhale, big press. Stamping your right heel down into the mat. I don't really have any movement through that left leg. Just want to be putting that weight into your right heel as you push through this. 18 more seconds to go. Can you squeeze that hamstring and booty as you lift? Big breath. Last 10. Let's go six, five, four, three, two, and one. Bring your seat down, pull your knees into your chest, roll on your low back three times. Begin to bring your head down to the mat, shoulders relax. Whew. And then pull your knees out wide, reach for your heels, find a happy baby pose. Right away, you glue that low spine down into the mat, pulling down through your fingertips as you press up through your heels. Gaze is towards the ceiling. And then pull your knees into your chest slowly. Begin to rock and roll yourself up to a seat. Right away, right ankle over left knee. Sink your hips into your heels. Press your chest into your calf. Roll out your right ankle. Relax your shoulders down. Go ahead and switch out your legs. Left ankle over right knee. Roll out your left ankle. Sink your hips low. Press your chest in. And then big exhale. Keep your left leg bent, pull it into your seat. Right toes out long. Inhale, arms come up all the way overhead. Exhale, I just want you to take a gentle side stretch over to the right. Begin to bring your right arm down to your toes and then lift up and over through that left side body. Gently pulling yourself deeper. Come back through center. Go ahead and twist your chest directly over your right toes and then find that hinge from your hips forward fold over your right leg. Reach for your toes, option to bend or straighten your right knee. Every exhale takes you a little deeper. Slowly roll yourself back up, pull your right heel in 
and then send your left toes long. Right away, inhale, arms up, you face center. Exhale, gentle side bend over to the left. Left arm can come down to meet your toes. And then gentle reach up and over through that right side body. Gaze can find the ceiling. Inhale, come back through center. Go ahead and twist through your core. Chest faces your left toes. As you exhale, hinge from your hips. Pull your long, flat spine towards your toes. Option to bend or straighten your left knee. Melt deeper into the mat. Every exhale, curl closer. And then slowly, with control, pull your left knee in. Soles of your feet come to touch at the center. Knees out wide, we'll take a little butterfly here. Go ahead and wiggle those knees. Open your inner thighs. Begin to find some stillness here. Lift your chest tall. Send your head in one direction around to the left. We'll take one more in that same direction. Then reverse it. Head circles around to the right. One more. Nice and slow. Go ahead and close your eyes, soften your shoulders. One last breath here. You can bring your arms up overhead. Exhale, hands to prayer, and then deep breath in through your nose. Exhale, release everything down. Thank you guys so much for joining me today for this 20 minute booty burn. Hopefully your booties will be thanking me tomorrow. I hope to see you guys in a class soon and don't forget to check out my new app launching January 1st, 2022 and my website, which is alleyfry.com. All the deets will be listed below and can't wait to start with you again soon.